Hi everyone, my name is Dan and in this video I'm gonna show you how you can update your Sony a7S III firmware to the latest version. So Sony made it very easy for everyone to do this, you just have to enter the website and download some stuff and then install it, connect your camera to the computer via the USB cable that you have uh, with your camera and then you are pretty much set up. But uh, this procedure is not only for the Sony A7S III, it's for every Sony camera. So if you have a camera with an old firmware and you want to try the new firmware, you have to download the firmware from the Sony official website. You need to use your included USB cable and connect your camera to the computer in order to complete the process. You will have the link in the description. I have the Sony a7s3 you need to enter the model of your camera enter the download section here and then find the latest version of the firmware also here you got some information about uh, what the firmware update contains to update the firmware you need to do some things like the preparation so we need to check our version and make sure that our version is uh, lower than the firmware we are downloading if you see the same version here like you see on the menu setup setup option version that means you have the latest firmware so i have to go to the menu then go to setup setup option and then click version so i check my version so i have version 2.0 and the latest version on the internet is 201. These are requirements i'm downloading this from the windows i am using windows 11 you can only be performed when the battery power is level is 3 bars or more. So this is my Sony A7S III. As you can see, I have 91% of the battery. Remove the memory card before starting the update process. And get out your SD card. Okay. The update will take approximately 10 minutes. Ensure that the computer is connected to the internet. Click this download button here on the top. This will start downloading, so I have uh, that right here. So I'm gonna click on it. Go to the menu and make sure your USB connection is set to mass storage. But if you are like me and you have uh, this option disabled, so it's like this with a dash, you need to go here to the network, transfer a remote, PC remote function and make sure PC remote is off. Then you can go on the setup, USB, USB connection and make sure it's set to mass storage. Okay, now we can turn off our camera. I started the program, turn on the camera. So I turned on the camera, select USB connection, setup menu. Verify that the connection string is set to mass storage is correct. And now let's connect the camera to the computer. So I have this USB cable that is connected there on my computer USB port. And now let's connect it. Connect the camera to the computer with the USB cable. Click on next button. Okay, next. Verify that the version of this version on the bottom left head corner of the screen if there is a problem. Okay, so we have current version 2.0 and version after update 2.01. It's correct. Next. The camera will reset automatically so the update is is in progress okay so the setup is finished we only have to click finish and the process is done i will get out the usb go to menu check the version on setup option version so it's 201 the process has been successfully completed so right now i am recording from the sony s7s3 with the latest firmware 2.01 so if I help you upgrading your camera firmware, don't forget to leave a like and of course leave a comment and subscribe if you want to. Don't forget to follow my channel because in the next video I will show how you can use your Sony camera as a webcam. So you know you have your crappy webcam on the laptop or the crappy Logitech webcam. You see if you have a Sony camera you can use this as a webcam and this sensor is much more better looking than a normal webcam. So if you want to see that, stay tuned to my channel. Bye.